Hi, I'm your host Solim Bharatiya and welcome to our series on tech predictions for 2021. Our next oracle is Simon Corsby, CTO of Swim. Simon, first of all, it's great to have you back on the show. Hey, thanks for having me back. It's really a great privilege. Yeah, Simon, before I ask you to go grab your crystal ball and uh, share your predictions, can you please tell me a bit about the company itself? Sure. Sumra AI has a, an entirely different approach to learning on fast data. And so from uh, streaming event data, we analyze, learn, and predict on the fly just using the data. So no big complicated data science approach. Awesome. Now it's time for you to grab your crystal ball and tell me what prediction do you have for the next year? So prediction number one would be this, that people finally give up on the idea that store and analyze approaches to analyzing data which is coming from all their products and all their people and you know their customers um, will actually deliver insights in time. So <clears throat> it's in, it's really incumbent on organizations to become more real time in the way that they parse their data, make sense of it, and then respond to the market, to production, and so on. And so storing data is uh, before analysis is typically a million times slower than analyzing it on the fly. And so I see a stronger thrust towards event-driven architectures. My second prediction would be this, that if effectively people realize that Moore's law, which has really driven the speed of memory in computers, uh, memory in CPUs um, and GPUs for learning is the dominant trend. And this architecture, which has driven us through the cloud era initially um, is running out of steam. So if we keep data in memory to learn and analyze and predict on the fly, instead of sticking on disks beforehand, we can literally go a million times faster. And let me give you an idea of what a million times faster means. It means that you go like an F-18 instead of like a snail. And that is about a million times in speed. And my third prediction is this, that when people take advantage of the benefits that Moore's Law has given them, um, that then they can transform the enterprise into a, a real-time predictive um, entity, which always knows, always has the answer before the question is asked, and which computes as data flows continuously from every part of the organization. Simon, thanks for you know, sharing these predictions. Now, uh, can you also tell me what is going to be the focus of the company in 2021? Well, our, our largest customer to date is the large US mobile provider. And <clears throat> we learn continuously on four petabytes of information per day. And so a key observation is that data streams only grow. When we'd fully deployed this application will grow to over 20 petabytes per day. And that's just a vast amount of information. It's more than you could ever store. And so our prediction for the coming year is that we'll get further and further deployed and that the, the store then analyze, the database and REST style architectures, which we find in the cloud will increasingly run out of steam. Our current approach is to serve our customers who are running actually uh, mostly all, uh, at the edge and some of the analysis is happening in the cloud. Simon, thanks for sharing these predictions with us. Uh, I would love to have you back on the show in 2021 just to see how many of these predictions turn out to be true and also get your predictions for the next year. So once again, thank you. Thanks for having me.